Hi, this is Dan from UConn HKN, and today we are doing an AC maximum power transfer problem. So what we're going to do is find an impedance ZL for a maximum power transfer in this circuit, and then find the complex power sent to that, um, to that impedance. And then we're going to replace ZL with RL, so just a purely resistive load, and find the power delivered to that for a maximum power transfer. So to begin with, what we're going to do is do a feminine equivalent. So we're going to do VOC and ISC as we've done before. So first off here, we notice that here we have a voltage source and here we have a current source. Since I'm going to be doing uh, nodal analysis, I want to have all one or the other. So right here, this section right here lends itself very well to being turned into a voltage source. So we have an inductor with a value of J4 and a uh, current source with a value of 5 amps at 45 degrees. Now we could redraw or rewrite J4 as being magnitude 4 with an angle of 90 degrees because that's all J really is. J is just uh, an angle of 90 degrees. So because we all know V equals IR multiplying our IR gives us our V. So we're going to multiply these two values and I'll draw it out what we get right here. So when we multiply these two, outside adds, the outside multiplies and the inside adds up. So we get a voltage source of 20 volts at an angle of 135 volts RMS. And we get our inductor out here. And so I'm going to redraw, except instead of ZL, I'm going to leave it open with these two terminals, and we're going to try to find the voltage across those two terminals. And then later we're going to short it and find the current. And so this will be the same as nodal analysis uh, we've done in the past. You just treat the impedances pretty much as if they were resistances. It's not, it's not any more difficult than had we done it in DC. So we're going to have our voltage here. This is what we care about. I'll name it VOC, the simple fact that it's open uh, circuit. So VOC minus this voltage. So VOC minus 20 at 135 over our impedance, 8 plus J4. ohms, of course, plus this half, so VOC minus 10 at 90 degrees, so VOC. And our impedance here is just the same as it was before, just add up these two, 4 plus J2 ohms. And that all equals zero. So you do your multiplication out and you find that VOC equals negative 4.7 plus J 11.4 volts. So there's our first half of our Thevenin analysis done. Um, and now what we're going to do is short these terminals. So I'm not going to redraw it, just we replace it open with a wire, and we try to find this current flowing down here, ISC. And so to find this, this is arguably uh, even easier than before. It's just uh, V equals IR, so V over R equals I. So we can see there's two voltage sources, so it'll just be two terms. There's not even any algebra to be done. It's just division. So 20 at 135 over 8 plus J4. This is the current caused by this voltage source flowing down here. And now we're going to do this one plus 10 at 90 degrees over 4 plus J2. And that gives us our ISC, our short circuit. And that is uh, 0 
plus j 4.1 amps RMS. Now to find our ZL, we need to find Z feminine and do the complex conjugate of that. So Z feminine is just going to be our VOC over our ISC. So I'll bring this up over here. So we do negative 4.7 plus J 11.4 divided by 0 0.29 plus j 4.1 and this gives us a z thevenin of 2.7 minus j 1.33 ohms. Now what we have to remember here is that our ZL for maximum power transfer is going to be the complex conjugate of that. Now the reason of this is because if this, um, we want to cancel out pretty much the effects of J so that we'll get maximum real power transfer through this circuit. So our ZL is going to be 2.7 plus J 1.33 ohms. All right, so that's part A done. Now for part B, we need to find VL and IL. So VL is using our Z thevenin and our ZL. So our VL is found by our VOC. What we found here, this is our VOC times ZL over Z thevenin plus ZL. So ZL, Z thevenin plus ZL. Now the whole reason we're doing this is because the voltage at this node is, this is pretty much just a voltage divider. When we use a voltage divider, that'll give us the actual voltage VL. So when we substitute in this for VOC, our ZL here and Z Thevenin here. We're going to get VL equals 0 0.49 plus J 6.9 volts. And so we have VL. To find our power though, we also need IL. So IL we find this by doing our VOC over Z Thevenin plus ZL. Now what you'll notice is because Z Thevenin and ZL are complex conjugates, these two when summed up will cancel out. The imaginaries will cancel out. So it'll just be 2.7 times 2. So really this will be ZL over 5.4 ohms, ZL over 5.4, or VOC over 5.4 ohms. And so here we get for our IL is negative 0 0.88 plus J 2.1 amps. And now we've found all that we need to find for our complex power. Now our complex power is VL times IL conjugate. The IL conjugate is very important. So all we have to do is multiply this by this, making sure to flip the sign of our negative part, of our imaginary part, sorry. So this equals 0 0.49 plus J 6.9 times right here, negative 0 0.88 minus J2.1. Again, the minus is very important or else you will get the wrong answer. And as a result, our complex power is 14.2 minus J 7.1 volt amperes. And there we go, that's part A and part B done. Now, part C is pretty similar. 
However, we've already done most of the legwork for part C. So our RL for maximum power transfer, what we're going to use is pretty much our ZL. However, with an important difference, we're going to use the, uh, if we drew this out as a phaser, we're going to use the magnitude. So to do that, 2.7 squared plus 1.33 squared, all square rooted. So our RL gives us 3 ohms. That's RL. And now, with our RL found, we plug it into the same equations for VL and IL. And with that, we'll find our new VL and IL. Do the same thing, VL times IL star, IL conjugate. So we'll find VL equals, I'm going to replace ZL with 3 ohms. So 3, my apologies, it'll be the open circuit voltage, so our VOC, the same as before, times 3 over Z Thevenin plus 3. And our IL will be our VOC over 3 plus Z Thevenin. Now when you do this math out, you find that our new VL equals 0 0.29 plus J4.1. Volts. And our new IL equals negative 0 0.34 plus J 2.1 volts, 2.1 amps, my apologies. And same as before, VL times IL conjugate equals our power. So we get 0 0.29 plus J 4.1. And taking extra special care to remember to flip our signs. Looks like I'm going to go off camera, so I'm going to redraw this down low. Yeah, so as I was saying, we got to be extra certain to flip these signs because it's a very easy thing to forget. And so we find here that our power just becomes 13.4 plus J0 volt amperes. And so that's this equation solved. So to go over what we did, we first redrew this circuit with a uh, first as open circuit and then as short circuit, changing this current source into a voltage source, doing just a source transformation. Then we did um, our Thevenin analysis with our VOC and ISC. Using those, we got our Z Thevenin. Our ZL was just the complex conjugate of that. Using these equations for VL and IL, we plugged in our values, and VL times IL conjugate gave us our complex power. Then we replaced that with a resistance, which had a resistance of the same thing as the magnitude, so 2.7 squared plus 1.33 squared found our VL and IL again using the same equations, and then again found the power. That's all there is to it, folks. Good luck on circuits one.